Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server video tutorial. Today we will see how to create a table and SQL Server. In my earlier video, I have shown you how to create a database. Today we will see how to use that database and how to create the tables. Because uh, uh, SQL Server is all about storing the data in tables and retrieving the data from the tables. So table creation is a very important step in SQL Server. So what we are doing here is first connect to the SQL Server then click on new query. In my earlier video I have shown you how to create a database. There I have created an example database. So now I will show you how to use this example database and create a table in example database. By default whenever you connect to the server it will be pointing to the master database. You can change this database by select the database from the drop down menu so here I have selected example from the drop down menu this is one way you can change the database name and the other way is you can use the keyword use use followed by the database name here I am planning to use example database so I am using use example command that I executed it now as you can see here my database is pointing to the example database here now let's see how to create the tables. Before creating the tables, let's see what are the tables that I have in my example database. As you can see here, I don't have any tables in example database apart from the system tables. Let me create the first table here in example database. The syntax for creating the table is create table, table name, followed by the column names and data type. Column 1 data type, column 2 data type and so on. You can give as many columns as you want. And in this video I will show you how to comment the code also. Commenting is like uh, even if you run that query it will not be executed. Commented code is only for uh, our understanding purpose. So select the query which you want to comment and then click on the comment button. So this code is commented now. Even if you execute this code, nothing will happen. Click on the uncomment if you want to uncomment the code. Add comment button. The other way to comment the code is um, first select. Uh, first write um, slash followed by star at the beginning of the code and at the end of the code star followed by slash so this is how you can comment one part of the code now let's see the example for creating a table uh, I want to create a table with the name student uh, generally if uh, what information we store in student table, student ID, student name, father name and which class student belongs to and how much tuition fee he is gonna pay. So I'll be creating a table with a similar structure. So here I am creating the table. Query for this is uh, create table my table name here is student and the columns which are which I am gonna put in my student table are student ID generally ID will be integer data type we'll see more about these data types in next videos student ID and data type is in then I'll store my student's first name name will be a character data type then last name father name
class class is also integer that is like a student belongs to 7th class 8th class something like that and then tuition fee which student is gonna pay so since it's a money data type will be money data type after writing the query execute this command is executed successfully let's see if this table is created or not click on the database refresh that is like right click on the database name and click on refresh let's see the tables as you can see here my student table is created in example database this is one way through which you can create a table from query window another way is you can create the table from the graphical user interface that is right click on the tables and then click on new table as you can see here this window will be opened so now i want to create i already created student table so i'll create a class table wherein i store class id and class teacher id only these two uh, as of now if at all we want to make any changes we'll do that in the next uh, videos so here i am giving class id and class teacher id both are of uh, integer data type once you are done with uh, uh, providing column names and data types click on save button when you click on save button a pop up will appear it will ask for the table name so as you can see here so i am providing the table name as class when you click on ok table will be saved and it will be created in the database see it's automatically refreshed database is automatically refreshed and class table is added to the tables list in my database example database so this is how you can create the tables for storing the data in sql server Thanks for watching these videos. In coming videos, we'll see more SQL Server uh, tutorials. Thank you.